The biggest change, at least from the outside, is the schedule this year. Last season, the toughest team RPI-wise you guys played was Akron in conference. Yep. This year, a lot of tough teams on the schedule. How does that come about? Like, what goes into that decision to have a really tough schedule like that? We wanted to make it a little bit tougher, and we'd agreed to play Notre Dame and Dayton, and we were going to use the revenue that we got from those two games to get some home games, that we could buy home games. And then on a separate track, I had been trying to get in ESPN events ever since I've been here. And, uh, and we finally, after we had those games scheduled, we got a call from ESPN that offered us a spot in this Phil Knight event. And as a part of that, assuring us we would get ESPN events in the next couple years afterwards. Getting the national exposure of getting high major teams on neutral sites, on nationally televised audiences, that's, that's you know, every mid-major coach's dream, mm -hmm. and mine too. And then with the Phil Knight event, obviously, Phil Knight's 80th birthday, they're throwing this huge Nike event, you guys are a Nike school. How much do you have influence, it sounds like not very much, over where and when and who you get in that event? Do they just tell you straight out? Yeah, no, we, we have no, no control. They called me and told me where we were. And we have Bucknell, who may be as good as anyone we play in that yeah. tournament. A home game, Oklahoma and Oregon. Yep. And I said, well, do you want us to start at Oregon and work our way east, or do you want to start Bucknell and work our way west? And they said, no, we're going to start you west, we're going to bring you east, and then we're going to bring you back west, and then we're going to bring you back east. And, yep. and I said, OK, we'll do it. The biggest thing for sustained success, you already kind of mentioned it, the exposure, the national TV games, if those games get picked up, you already have some national TV games scheduled. Uh, what does that do for the program as a whole? I think that helps a lot. You know, it helps for recruiting. Certainly, it gets our name out there more, and uh, recruits get a chance to watch us on ESPN. And I think they want to play on national television. They should. And I think it's great for our players. It's fun for me as a coach to watch them work as hard as they work, and then be able to tell them, "Guess what? Here's some good things that are happening for you because of all your hard work." After the Phil Knight event, five straight in-state opponents. It seems like since you've gotten here, winning the state of Indiana has always been a huge priority for you. Uh, is it wanting to schedule, like Notre Dame haven't played since 1970s when Digger Phelps is the coach. Like, what, uh, how important is it to get those in-state opponents on the schedule and then to win? I think they're great rivalries. You know, I mean, I, I think Notre Dame's, I, I wouldn't call it a rivalry. <laughs> Be pretty foolish to say that. And, um, but it's a fun game for our fans and for our players. And, um, and then, you know, Valparaiso and Indiana State are great rivalries, and IUPUI has, uh, has become a very good game for us, and there's just so much good basketball in the state of Indiana. So, um, so I think it just makes good sense to play those games. It's light travel. It's good for both fan bases. And, uh, and last year in particular, we didn't do very well in the in-state rivalries, and, and hopefully this year we can fare a lot better.